Beck from PreSalonEducation.com. I'm here with tip number 14. We finally made it through this um, with your uh, 14 tips to cutting hair better. This tip has to do with dry cutting. So we got out our dry cutting scissor. This is the Mizutani Puffin. Uh, this is a five and a half inch, stole this from Drea. So we're gonna go in and I'm gonna show you guys um, a technique called stroking. It's a very popular technique in Japan but uh, also become popular in the United States as well. A lot of really great artists try to, or do use this technique. And really what it's all about is just a different look to a point cut. It also gives you, you can have a nice precision feel to it. Um, but really it's just kind of a cool technique. So I figure for our uh, 14th step, why not give you guys something fun and creative to do. So we're gonna go through my favorite dry cutting techniques. So this is the first one. We have our previously cut bob uh, section on the bottom here. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a nice thin section. You should be able to see right through this section uh, before you cut it, because otherwise you got too much hair in your hand. So we're gonna work out here. And all I'm gonna do is take this hair for my guide, and I'm gonna come over top. So I'm combing this way, combing away from my body, looking at the section, and then I'm gonna go over top. And what I'm doing is I'm just coming down onto my hand here and closing. And as I close, I'm gonna release the hair and push the hair away. And what that's gonna do is just give me a nice uh, worked line. And what you'll see is as I'm, I'm peeling my hand away, but that line is still being cut. So um, let me just show you that again. So we're gonna section it down. Tiny section, you don't wanna to work too much hair at a time let the guide fall out of the bottom, and then I can see my line with my hand as I'm cutting. So as I'm cutting this, I'm peeling my fingers away, but I'm not pulling my hand. A lot of people pull their hand away because they get scared. I'm working that line in as I do it. So what we're doing is opening as I come up, closing as I come down, and just working through the hair that way, peeling my fingers away as I close. Those are the, really the only tips that you're gonna have. Just keep trying it because really with this technique, the only way you get better at it is if you use it a lot. It's not something you're gonna do right away and feel comfortable with. So practice it on a mannequin, someone you don't like, I don't care, but just make sure that you practice and do it that way. Now, next tip or the next technique that I love, I love doing a tease cutting technique. It's one of my favorites. And all I'm gonna do is pinch it in my hand, let the hair fall out, and then I can come in here just pretty much like the stroking technique but now I'm half closing the scissor in, and as I half close the scissor in, it's just slightly teasing the hair and cutting through. What this does is it gives it a nice softer line to the haircut. So you can still work it in the bob. So let's say our guide is there, and I'm just gonna work my way up. Nice soft line peeling the hair away. And that'll start to cut in there. So I can just keep over directing everything. I do comb to take my section. Once I have my section, I just pinch it in my hand and work my way through that way. Slight bit of teasing, done deal. So really just with that technique, focus on where you're over directing the hair to, where you wanna push the weight to, and you're good to go there. Um, let's see. And last one here that I love to do I know Thad loves this one as well, but this is my last tip. When you're working on a face frame, I like to part the hair behind the ear, and we're gonna pull. So let's say we wanna face frame this fringe in. So I'm gonna take my section, which is just vertical down, and then over direct it out. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work that guideline there. I'm gonna take my scissor, I'm gonna put my finger in the opposite direction. So just, if you're trying this at home, take your thumb, take it out, put it in the other end, that doesn't sound right. Um, take it out, put it in there, and then work your way down the hair shaft that way. So here we go, flip it, and we're gonna be cutting down. So I'm just gonna work that line in, sliding my, hair, my hand through here. Now, the reason that you would choose to do this technique over others, so it gives you kind of a fun face frame textured feel, is this is pretty simple to go through, um, but if I were to try to cut this face frame, a lot of times I'd be going like this or backhanding it, trying to work in there, and that's a difficult 
you know, it's not as easy as just going through like this. So we'll do it. Oh, same thing. Dre, that was close. Almost bought Dre a new pair. Um, so we're going to take comb our section out. And then instead of backhanding through, which is not a big deal, you just flip it like this. And you can work that face frame in, sliding through. This is beautiful with a dry cutting scissor. No tug whatsoever. And then you got your nice little textured front. It really brings this haircut to life, having that put in there. So definitely a cool technique. This is the Blacksmith Fit Puffin. I love this scissor uh, for that reason, just going through, gliding through. Practice the stroking technique, the teasing technique and then your little reverse cutting thing with Bob. That's what we'll call it, the thing with Bob cutting technique. But you guys, hopefully this helps you. Hopefully these 14 tips helped you. If, you if you're just watching this for the first time, we have 13 others. Go watch them. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. We have more and more videos to come for hairdressers. Um, yeah, so follow us on Facebook, freesaloneducation.com, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.